echoes of our past, the Hadzabe of Tanzania. In the heart of Tanzania, there lives a tribe untouched by time, a people whose existence offers a glimpse into the dawn of humanity. The Hadzabe people are a direct link to our ancestors, their way of life a reflection of humanity's earliest days. They live as our forebears did, in harmony with the land and its rhythms. For over 10,000 years they have thrived in the challenging environment of the East African Rift Valley, adapting to its harsh conditions with remarkable resilience and ingenuity. Their story is not just about survival, it's about understanding who we are and where we came from. The Hadzabe embody a living history, a narrative of human endurance and adaptation. The Hadzabe are the guardians of an ancient wisdom, a way of life that has sustained them for millennia. Their knowledge of the natural world is profound, passed down through countless generations. The Hadzabe are one of the last remaining hunter-gatherer societies on Earth, a rare and precious link to our prehistoric past. They live in small, nomadic groups, moving with the seasons and the availability of food and water. Their mobility is key to their survival, allowing them to follow the natural cycles of the environment. Their lives are deeply intertwined with nature, their knowledge of the land and its resources unparalleled. They understand the subtle signs of the wilderness, reading the landscape like an open book. Their existence is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of ancient ways. The Hadzabe's ability to thrive in such a demanding environment speaks volumes about human ingenuity and perseverance. Their language, with its unique clicks and pops, is unlike any other spoken on Earth. It is a linguistic treasure, a living artifact, of human communication. It is a language as old as their history, echoing the sounds of the natural world they inhabit. The Hadzabe language is a vital part of their identity, connecting them to their ancestors and the land. Their culture is rich in tradition, their stories passed down through generations, preserving their history and knowledge. These tales are more than just stories, they are lessons guiding the Hadzabe in their daily lives. The Hadzabe are a window into our collective past, a living reminder of our shared human heritage. Their way of life offers invaluable insights into the origins of human society and the enduring connection between people and nature. Kindred spirits across Africa, the Hadzabe and the San. These two ancient cultures, though separated by vast distances, share a profound connection to their land and traditions. Thousands of miles southwest of the Hadzabe's Tanzanian home, another ancient culture survives in the arid landscapes of southern Africa, the San Bushmen. Both groups have adapted to their environments in ways that are both unique and strikingly similar. Like the Hadzabe, the San have lived as hunter-gatherers for millennia, their lives intimately connected to the rhythms of nature. Their survival depends on a deep understanding of the flora and fauna around them. The two groups, though separated by vast distances, share a remarkable similarity in their way of life, a testament to the enduring power of human adaptation. Their daily routines, from hunting to gathering, reflect a profound knowledge of their ecosystems. Both the Hadzabe and the San rely on their deep understanding of their respective environments for survival. This knowledge is not just practical, but also spiritual, as they see themselves as part of the natural world. They are masters of tracking, their senses honed to detect the slightest signs of prey or edible plants. This skill is crucial for their sustenance and has been refined over countless generations. Their knowledge of the land is encyclopedic, passed down through generations of careful observation and practical experience. Elders play a crucial role in educating the young, ensuring that this wisdom is preserved. The tools and techniques employed by both groups also bear striking similarities. These tools are not just functional, but are crafted with a deep understanding of the materials available to them. Bows and arrows, crafted with remarkable skill, are essential for hunting. These weapons are a testament to their ingenuity and craftsmanship. Simple digging sticks fashioned from branches are used to unearth roots and tubers. These tools are a perfect example of how they utilize natural resources efficiently. Their resourcefulness is evident in their ability to utilize every part of their environment, minimizing waste and maximizing sustainability. This sustainable approach ensures that they live in harmony with nature. Despite the challenges they face in a rapidly changing world, both the Hadzabe and the San retain a profound connection to their cultural heritage. 
Their communities are tight-knit and their traditions are a source of strength and identity. Their ancient traditions, passed down through generations, continue to guide their lives, embodying a deep respect for nature and a commitment to a communal living. These traditions are not just rituals but are integral to their way of life. Their stories, dances and rituals are a testament to the enduring power of human spirit and the importance of preserving cultural diversity. These cultural expressions are a celebration of their heritage and a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. Masters of the Hunt Survival in the Tanzanian Bush The sun rises over the savannah, painting the sky in hues of orange and gold. The dawn brings with it a sense of renewal and hope, as the landscape awakens to the sounds of nature. For the Hadzabe, a new day of opportunity and challenge begins. The tribe members prepare for their daily tasks, each one playing a crucial role in the community's survival. Their survival depends on their intimate knowledge of the land and their mastery of ancient hunting techniques. Every member of the tribe contributes from the youngest child to the eldest elder. Their skills, honed over generations, are a testament to human ingenuity and adaptability. The elders pass down their wisdom, ensuring that the traditions and knowledge continue to thrive. Armed with their handcrafted bows and arrows, the men set out in search of sustenance. Each bow and arrow is a work of art, meticulously crafted to ensure precision and effectiveness. The bows, made from strong, flexible wood, are carefully strung with sinew, creating instruments of remarkable power and accuracy. The craftsmanship involved is a blend of tradition and skill. The arrows, tipped with carefully crafted points, are designed to bring down game swiftly and humanely. Each arrow is a testament to the hunter's dedication and expertise. Tracking is an art form for the Hadzabe. They read the land like a book, interpreting signs that are invisible to the untrained eye. Their keen eyesight detects the faintest of tracks, their ears attuned to the slightest rustle in the undergrowth. This heightened awareness is crucial for their success. They move with a grace that belies their strength, their footsteps silent as they stalk their prey. Coordination and teamwork are essential as each hunter knows their role. The thrill of the hunt is palpable, the adrenaline coursing through their veins. Every sense is heightened, every movement calculated. But even in the heat of the chase, the Hadzabe maintain a deep respect for the animals they hunt. They honor the life taken, understanding the balance of nature. They take only what they need, utilizing every part of the animal to ensure nothing is wasted. This sustainable approach reflects their deep connection to the environment and their respect for the natural world. Section 4. A day in the life harmony with nature's rhythm. Life for the Hadzabi is a delicate dance with nature, their daily routines dictated by the rhythms of the sun and the seasons. Their nomadic lifestyle requires them to be adaptable, their shelters temporary, their possessions few. Yet within this simplicity lies a profound sense of freedom and contentment. As the sun climbs higher in the sky, the women gather wild fruits, berries and roots, their knowledge of edible plants passed down through generations. Their baskets, woven from natural fibers, are filled with the bounty of the land, providing essential vitamins and nutrients. Children full of energy and curiosity mimic their parents, learning essential life skills through observation and play. They chase each other through the undergrowth, their laughter echoing through the trees. Their childhood is idyllic, spent in the embrace of nature, their days filled with adventure and discovery. As evening approaches, the Hadzabe gather around a communal fire, the flickering flames casting dancing shadows on their faces. Stories are shared, songs are sung, and laughter fills the air. The bonds of family and community are strong, providing a sense of belonging and security. Section 5, the bounty of the land, food, and celebration in Hadzabe culture. Food is more than just sustenance for the Hadzabe. It is central to their culture, a symbol of their connection to the land and their community. Their diet, rich in variety and nutritional value, is a testament to their deep understanding of the environment and their ability to thrive in a challenging landscape. Honey, a prized delicacy, holds a special place in Hadzabe culture. The men, skilled climbers, brave treacherous heights to harvest honey from wild beehives, their agility and bravery a source of pride. The sweet, golden liquid is a treat savoured by all, a reminder of the rewards of their hard work and courage. 
Meat, when available, is a cause for celebration. A successful hunt is a communal affair, the spoils shared equally among the group. The meat, cooked over an open fire, is a welcome source of protein and fat, providing essential energy for their active lifestyle. The Hadzabi's diet, free from processed foods and artificial ingredients, is a model of healthy eating. Their active lifestyle and varied diet have resulted in a people remarkably free from modern ailments, a testament to the wisdom of their ancient ways. Section 6. Lessons from the Elders, Education for Life in the Wild. The Hadzabe have no formal schools, no textbooks, no classrooms. Their education is a lifelong process passed down from generation to generation through observation, imitation and storytelling. The Elders, respected for their wisdom and experience, are the keepers of their history and traditions, ensuring the survival of their cultural heritage. Children learn by doing, accompanying their parents on hunts, gathering expeditions and other daily activities. They watch intently, absorbing knowledge and skills through observation and practice. Their curiosity is encouraged, their questions answered with patience and insight. Storytelling is an integral part of Hadzabe culture, a powerful tool for transmitting knowledge, values and beliefs. Around the flickering light of the campfire, elders weave tales of their ancestors, of daring hunts and of the spirits that inhabit the land. These stories, rich in symbolism and metaphor, teach valuable lessons about survival, respect for nature and the importance of community. The Hadzabe's informal education system, though vastly different from modern educational models, is remarkably effective. It produces individuals who are resourceful, resilient and deeply connected to their environment and their cultural heritage.